Ah, uh, the Mustangs and the Jaguars playing. Mustangs received the ball at halftime. And this is a big game for Max Holroyd. There's the trade rumors going on. From either him going to the Jaguars or Honey Badgers with the way he's been playing. But starts off the game with some momentum after that tag on the return. A couple yards there by Corey Conlon on the return. And now this play. First play for the Jaguars. Pass to William Hawkins. Where are you going? Max Holroyd gets him back in the end zone for his safety. And man, is he fired up. He is not going to another team without a fight. Wanting to play for the Mustangs. All right, now on the throw off. Mustangs take this one. It's going to be a touchback. And uh, Colin Sanford walking out into the field. Let's see the drive together to put the, the Mustangs put together. Colin Sanford waiting patiently, finding the rookie Mark Crothers. He's been pretty impressive recently. Now Colin Sanford again. Now running for a big gain and a huge first down. And now Colin Sanford looking for his old friend Max Holroyd sliding for the touchdown grab. Max Holroyd's first receiving touchdown of the season. And you, can, you can't really see this group celebration really good, but it's the Mustangs go bowling. And Mustangs are up 8 to nothing. Now Jaguars get the ball back and answer pretty dang quickly. Scolanti deep to who else? Corey Conlon in the back of the end zone. Make it 8 to 6. We're not able to get the conversion. So Mustangs are still up. Uh, during the game Now Mustangs turn with the ball Colin Sanford looking around but oh no It's picked off Corey Conlon taking it to the house Jaguars take the lead now 12 to 8 and again they can't get the two-point conversion Jaguars struggled off trying to get the two-point conversion today but Mustangs now Colin Sanford with the ball looking Max Holroyd for the first down. Ref says he didn't catch it, but Boothview later sees that he did catch it after a long discussion. Now Mustangs driving now. On third down, Colin Sanford with a big run. Now they're really close to the goal line for fourth down to try to take the lead. But some miscommunication on this play and Jaguars get the ball back after that really good tag by DJ Lombardo. Max Holroyd's a little upset at himself for that. Uh, now, answering back quickly is the Jaguars again. Corey Conlon, third touchdown of the game. One defensively and two receiving. That was his third receiving touchdown of the season. He has five total touchdowns on the season now. And look at this. Usually we don't see two-point conversions, even though they did not get this. This is an insane catch. You don't see a lot. Scalanti right off the chest. And look at Corey Conlon diving and making the grab. Short of the goal line so he didn't get the two-point conversion. But we got to show you that in instant replay. That was just unbelievable athletic ability. Off the chest, he runs it down. Incredible concentration for the grab. And... Max Holroyd's going to give him a pat on the back for that. Nice catch. 18-8 Jaguars. Mustangs trying to put a drive together. Colin Sanford looking around, scrambling, throwing to Max Holroyd wide open, but he's over the line of scrimmage. So that's going to back him up a few. But now Mustangs on set, uh, first down after the penalty. Sample Cito with a nice little spin nifty spin move right there now Mustangs driving down Colin Sanford gonna run no timeouts left Mustangs eight seconds on the clock with no timeouts they rush to the line as quick as they can and they get the playoff and buzzer beater touchdown for the Mustangs that was one of the most insane plays of the week and they later do get the two-point conversion at halftime, it's 18 to 16 Jaguars, but the Mustangs do get the ball back, and 
What do they do? They answer. Rookie Mark Crothers impressing everybody as the third round pick in the 2018 draft. Mustangs don't get the two point conversion this time and they're up by four, 22 to 18. But the Jaguars, Robert Scalanti firing. Nice catch by Corey Conlon down towards the goal line during crunch time. Three minutes left on the clock in the second half. Now Scalanti running, spins away. Whoop, touchdown. Nice little celebration there by Scalanti. And now it's crunch time for the Mustangs as there's two minutes left on the, two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Uh, and DJ Lombardo gets a two point conversion and it's a four point game. Jaguars up by four. DJ Lombardo does a black backflip. We'll show you that again. But now it's crunch time for the Mustangs. First down for the Mustangs. Stanford looking and doesn't go as planned. It's incomplete. Now second down for the Mustangs. The ball is dropped. Stanford fires and doesn't go as planned. Incomplete. Third down. It's the biggest third down of the game. And third down for the Mustangs. Sanford scrambling around, looking, getting pressure. He's firing and incomplete. And they are forced to punt with a minute 30 seconds. But they did not manage the time very well. And it's three seconds left in the clock. DJ Lombardo is going to run out the clock. And the Jaguars beat the Mustangs 26-22. Colin Sanford was not happy about that win for the Jaguars. He was not happy by the calls, but the calls did go both ways, I would have to say. And the Jaguars hang on.